Take it out. Are we awake now? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Set. What we are going to do is we're going to go through a series. You can look at me. We're going to go through a series of active dynamic warm-ups that are going to help you out for drill. What you want to do, second squat, take one step to your left and uncover from first squat. Do it now. You are in second squat. You need to step it over to the left. Now I can see all of you. What we are going to do first, we're going to take you through a series of windmill exercises. Who has ever seen a windmill before? All of you guys know what they are, yes? Yes! yes. I told you don't start in position, you know what to do, right? Sure. I say start in position to move. You guys are going to scream at the top of your lungs. Ah! Really, really loudly. And keep your hip key and shoulder apart. Yep. Yes. 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 Start in position, move! Seconds, you'll take place your right hand to your left toe and left hand to right toe. 30 seconds, go. The purpose of this is to make sure that the lower parts of your posterior chain or the back of your muscles is stretched out in an active dynamic fashion. <laughs> Recover, shake it out, recover, shake it out. Good, back to position with tension. Next exercise will be cross windmills. I will demonstrate how that looks. It is identical to a windmill, except instead of reaching down with your right hand and bringing it to the left toe, you will bring your left knee up and reach across with your right arm, further stretching out the upper part of your posterior chain, the upper back. Because when you're doing a lot of exhibition drill, you're doing a lot of rotation, this is something that gets you warmed up for that. Sound good? Aye, yes, sir! You don't need to see that again. Very well. So you are already in the starting position. You have 30 seconds going into the cross windows. Right hand comes across, left knee comes up. Right hand, left hand comes across, right knee comes up. 30 seconds. Do it now. Go. Really, do not rush the stretch. Do not try to rush it. Really feel your upper back start to stretch out. Good. Shake it out, shake it out, good. Next act dynamic stretch will be called the power within. And I call it that because it looks like you're truly calling the power from within. Sound good? Yes, yes sir! What it is, you're going to cave in at the chest, and then you're going to stretch out your upper back, holding it for no more than three seconds. Then you're going to stretch out your chest as if you're saying, ah, the power within. Sound good? Yes, yes sir! It seems silly, however, this is a very good stretch for the back of your shoulders and for your chest. Good to go? Yes, yes sir! While you may not be getting down and doing push-ups while you're doing drill, you still want to have a very much active dynamic upper body. So you want blood and lactic acid going through your body. Sound good? Yes, yes sir! Here we go. So here's how it's going to go. When I see you already in the starting position, you will have 30 seconds, holding for no more than three 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 seconds. No three seconds. Do not hit the person. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And set. Next is when the arm circles. Everyone knows what arm circles are, yes? Yes, yes sir. We're going 15 seconds to the front and 15 seconds to the rear. You're already in the starting position. So the fr your other front. And going in reverse, to the rear, 15 seconds, go. One, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. You feeling pretty good so far? 
Yes, yes sir. sir! Excellent. Next CCI, we're going shoulder rolls to our front. 15 seconds, shoulder rolls to the front. When I say to you, here we go. Yes, yes sir! sir. Shoulder rolls to the front, 15 seconds. Make it happen. Now, the final piece is we're gonna work through our neck. We have five rotation going to the left, five rotation going to the right. You may go ahead and go. Aye, sir. Once you are done with your fives to the front and five, five to the left and five to the right, you will sound off with done, sir, and remain in the position of attention. Can we go? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, for the next 10 seconds, you will shake everything out from head to toe when I tell you to. Here we go. Shake it out. Go. Here we go. Hey. One. You are Dunster! You are Dunster! Right, at this time, what you are going to do is you're going to grab your weapons, you're going to fall back into this exact same formation at position potential. Here we go. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Seconds for now. You are Dunster! Hmm. Let me tell you something about drill teams. The you stay where you're at. You were good. The culture of a team that wins is one that does not practice selective urgency. What does that mean? That means the second I start counting, that's when you start hustling. If you start hustling when I get to the end of time, that's a culture of a team that gets no higher than second place. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir! It's not about saying, oh, I've got plenty of time, I'm gonna coast, and then I and then you hear 10. Okay, I'm gonna start running now. At that point in time, what, ha what what's the point? There's no way you're going to hustle and make up for what you didn't do in the first 10 seconds of that 30 that you think you're going to make for, up for in the last. There's no way you're going to make that up. So start strong every time, and that is going to be a habit that takes you to first place. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir! All right. Stand at ease.